You know, wrestling fans, the Independent Talent Podcast guys, give me a few minutes here to let you in on what's going on with Scott Diamond. Well, first of all, let me start out by saying this. When you have a chance to see Scott Diamond and the Diamond Cartel, when you see that name on the marquee, lay your money down because you are going to get your money's worth. When you come to a show and you see Scott Diamond and the Diamond Cartel, somebody's going to get their ass whipped, and it ain't going to be us. So now let me start out with this coming Friday night, and I'll give you a little history lesson right here. Southern Indiana Championship Wrestling. You know, two months ago, they wanted to suspend the Diamond Cartel. Why? Excessive violence. Excessive violence? What the hell is that? I don't know what excessive violence is. You know what, the Diamond Cartel? Violence is what we do. So when we stepped in to Southern Indiana Championship Wrestling and the owner, Casey Lozier, wants to step up to the Diamond Cartel, what happened? Excessive violence, that's what happened. We beat his ass to the mat, we kicked him out of our ring, and that's what we do. I don't care if you're an owner, I don't care if you sell popcorn, I don't care if you're somebody's mom sitting in the audience. When you step into that ring, that's our ring. That's our ring. And when you step into the ring, we will kick your ass. Casey, you found that out. And then you took it upon yourself because you are the owner to su suspend, to suspend the Diamond Cartel. You thought you were done with us. Well, let me tell you something. Scott Diamond has a list of lawyers as long as your leg. And I've got a wallet that is infinity. My money flows like wine, brother. And I cracked it open. I called my lawyer, and guess what? Yeah, we took your 60-day suspension, but guess what? Casey, listen up, brother. You're out. You're out. I seen to it that you're done at SICW. And guess who's running the show? <laughs> Scott Diamond. You're damn right. Now, you want to suspend me? I took over the whole damn show. That's what it got you. So, come Friday night, October the 23rd, this Friday night, Jeffersonville, Indiana, at the arena. Come on down. Suspension or no suspension, we do what we want. Scott Diamond will be in the building. Casey, I hope you're there. <laughs> you know what? Because now that I'm in charge, I'll throw your ass out of my building. Or maybe I'll just kick your ass and put you out of professional wrestling altogether. Now then, let's go on to something else. Wildcat Championship Wrestling, Daddy. This Saturday night, every Saturday night. This Saturday night, you're going to see my man, Devin Blake, the Heritage Champion. He's going to be in a casket match. And you know what? I feel sorry for his opponent, Crutch, because anytime you got a man like Devin Blake in the ring and you got a man like Scott Diamond on the outside of the ring, something's going to happen. And let me tell you what's going to happen. Crutch, you're going in that casket. You're done. You're over. You're dead. Now, speaking about dead, let me tell you about death. Kid Mac, I hope your insurance is paid up. You know what? You think you're only three foot now. Brother, when I get done with you this Saturday night, trick-or-treat match, hell, you're not getting no treat, brother. You're getting nothing but the trick. The trick knee in my leg kicking you in your ass. That's what's going to be happening. That's the trick, brother. That's the trick. My trick knee kicking your ass. I am now and I will be at the end of Saturday night the WCCW Midget Champion in the wrestling world will be less one Kid Mac, less one Midget. Now, let's move on. November the 6th, New Origins Wrestling, Irvin at the Estill County Fairgrounds. You know what, Irvin, Estill County Fairgrounds, and Scott Diamond, we have a lot of history. I've kicked ass all over that building. Hell, I've had my ass kicked all over that building. But one thing for sure, when you step into Irvin, you step into New Origins Wrestling, you're going to see the fight of a lifetime. You're going to see a wrestling show that is the premier in the sport of professional wrestling. And on November the 6th, the, 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 the NOW, 
N-O-W. Let's get it right here. The New Origins Wrestling Heavyweight Champ, King Kong Donkey. <laughs> That's what he is, a Donkey Kong. King Kong Dookie. You will be facing the enforcer of the Diamond Cartel, Frank the Tank. You shine that belt up because at 500 pounds from the mean streets of Harlem, New York, Frank knows one thing. He knows how to beat the daylights out of somebody. He knows how to bring a title home. He knows how to make Scott Diamond money. And on November the 6th, you know, Buff Bagwell's going to be in the building, so he might keep his nose out of our business, too, because if he does, Frank can knock your lights out, too. But one thing for sure, King Kong Dookie, November the 6th, Frank the Tank, he's coming home with your New Origins Heavyweight Championship belt. Now then, that's what's happening here in the next couple of weeks. But if you want to see Scott Diamond, you flip open that book, you look at every website that you can get, and if you see Scott Diamond and the Diamond Cartel, you sell your tractor, you sell your car. Hell, take your sister down to the corner, sell her ass too. Get yourself eight bucks. Because when I step into the building, you're going to want to see who I put a mark on. Because whoever I put a mark on, their ass is had. They're no more. Because the Diamond Cartel and Scott Diamond, we are the measuring stick of professional wrestling. And that's all I got to say about that. I've been 17.